But that looks fantastic. How did it feel? I mean, I wouldn't say it was fantastic. I'd say the trot work I was really delighted with. I think the entry, the first entry was really good um, for him. You know, I was thrilled with that. And, and all his trot work, I, he stayed lovely and forward. Um, the walk is always difficult. Um, I was pleased, actually, how he started the walk. I think his eyes were on the camera and he was bubbling over and jig-jogging. And I don't know whether they were kind to me. I didn't see the marks, but I, was very, I just tried to breathe. And he actually then did relax and walk, even though he hasn't got a greatest walk. Um, and then from the walk, I, he, he got a bit hollow, but he still executed the movements. I mean, he never used to do flying changes, so he did get them. But it, and, and I was brave in the big canters, even though he was a bit hollow. And he was probably not quite where I wanted him, but... Um, you know, I had to just keep keep working away using my experience really to try and steal as many marks as I could. But you've ridden into that arena many a time now and you've won here twice, obviously most recently in 2019. Does it get any easier? <laughs> no, not at all. No, I mean, I still think, why do I do it? But, um, I mean, it's it's, fun. it's actually fun coming. I've only just got one horse here. I was sort of wanting to bring in the, the, the Billy Walk on, but... Um, it was decided to go to Blenheim, but listen, it's just fun to come back here and I've just made myself think I'm coming with a horse that's got a good cross-country record. Yeah, he might not be the fastest, I might not be the fastest, but I'm just going to really come here and, in, and enjoy it. And so far, I've, I've actually have enjoyed it. So let's hope I do tomorrow. <laughs> and how do you prepare yourself mentally for the cross-country tomorrow? Um, well, I have to absolutely accept my nerves. I have to accept them. I have to accept that I'm going to go through that phase of thinking I'm too old, why am I still doing it, and all the things I beat myself up about. But I just have to accept them, and I realise once I get on the horses, then once I get on the horse, that they go and I start just zoning in. So I just have to live, I've learned to live with my nerves, even though I hate them. But I gather you try and keep yourself very busy here because you're a published artist, art, uh, sorry, you're a published author and you've been signing your children's books, haven't you, this yeah, week? Yeah, they, they, they're selling them on the Pony magazine stand and also at World Horse Welfare. I'm a patron for World Horse Welfare, so they'd be, they're selling them on those stands. And it's the Pony books are something I'm really passionate about because they're very much trying to educate youngsters um, about horses, ponies, and the responsibilities of having animals and, and morals that it's important to be kind and thankful and so I am you know I, 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 I love doing the books and, and it's fantastic that Zephyr um, children's books have taken on then they're different publishers that have taken on and that's why they've been um, republished under the name of Pippa's Ponytails rather than Tilly's Ponytails because Tilly's the main character that I think people didn't really a lot of people didn't realise I'd written so many children's books and then in addition of course you're still producing the young horses for the billy stud aren't you yeah i'm jumping i'm jumping a lot i'll be jumping at hicksted next week before i go to blenheim but um it's probably a good thing for ones like hope that i'm away jumping a bit so i mean we've got such good hills at home and i've got a great team um small team of, of girls but a great team of girls um that do the that you know i'm lucky they can do the work and the fitness work when i'm away jumping um which is a bonus and you know some of the old the, their old horses now they know their they know their stuff and I probably irritate Hope if I'm on him too much. Well, I think from the sounds of things, most of the crowd is rooting for you to have your third win. I think. Uh, anyway, listen, I'll just have fun. A, we, Roz is on the crest of a wave and no better world champion ju, um, junior um, European champion. I mean, she's class and and we you know a lot of us know what it's like when you're on the crest of that wave and, and I wish her luck and I wish everyone luck and may the best man win.